As monuments and statues from questionable historical figures are going down throughout the country, Momentum is building to rename Burke High School here in Omaha. Wednesday, we spoke with the woman who started the petition and a black man who worked under Harry Burke, both who say it's time for a change. Reporter John Kipper tells us what one historian has to say about Burke's actions toward the black community. Throughout the country, people are reevaluating monuments, statues, and buildings named after people with questionable pasts. This has hit Omaha with some trying to move Harry Burke's name off of Burke High School in Omaha. Well, today I went to Lincoln to speak with a historian about the history of Harry Burke and how he handled black teachers. Harry Burke was hired as superintendent of Omaha Public Schools in 1946. During his tenure, he took the district out of debt and helped build it up as it grew from the baby boom. But his hiring practices are now getting a second look. It was clear that he was only hiring black teachers for the majority black uh, elementary schools in North Omaha. Omaha Public Schools did not have a single uh, black high school teacher. David Bristow is editor of History Nebraska and over the past few weeks has been reading newspaper clippings diving into Burke's past. Bristow says at the time, Burke said there was simply not any qualified black candidates, but those in North Omaha would name names of qualified candidates and point out that white teachers were being hired with less credentials. So there was, he had two different standards. Back in the 50s and 60s, Burke said he was doing this because of public pressure. Bristow says many officials back in the day would blame their discrimination on the public, never saying their true feelings. So I think there was an element of cowardice to it as well as an element of actual prejudice. Some have pushed back online, saying Burke had similar beliefs of many in Omaha at the time. That sometimes people will say, well, you know, everybody thought that way back then. But when we say that, who, who do we mean when we say everybody? We're thinking of the white people, because certainly Omaha's African-American community was outraged. Now, Bristow mentioned Jay Sterling Morton as another person who we could soon be reevaluating. Morton has multiple things named after him in Nebraska City in a middle school named after him in Omaha. He is the founder of Arbor Day, but also was a proponent of slavery. Reporting in Lincoln, John Kepper, 3 News Now. School Board President Mark Snow has told those seeking the name change that the board will discuss renaming the school in the near future.